There we go. Perfect. Warden of the tribes. Yes. Hey everybody, Liberty here, and today we're running Warden of the Tribes, the card that buffs the whole board by the amount of subtypes you've played. That means Yordles, Yetis, Poros, all of those, and we're running 11 different subtypes in the deck. We're gonna play a bunch of subtypes, play a big Warden, overwhelm the opponent, enjoy. Oh, opponent's deck smashes us down really fast. Oh boy, Winter's Breath is actually a really good staller for us though. Do, 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 do. Control the boar. Maybe squawks. Maybe. But we're already we're already this far into this vid, so we'll just uh You watch for wins personally? Okay, I thought I appreciate the feedback. Yeah, yeah, I feel ya, I feel ya. I gotcha. Getcha gotcha. We bitcha botcha. They're out there. All spotted. Well, let's do this. Um, um, we're actually gonna go for the little dipper here. Five head it. Actually, we just go bouncer and bolt. Probably let's go bouncer and bolt. Don't don't Weird for them in a very aggro list to not be aggroing us down, but I'll take it, right? Bouncer and bolt means no LeBanc or anything else scary coming down. What are you doing, Mr. Opponent? Why? What's the rationale here? Huh? Is giving me a basis for free? Oh, what? He legionary charges it. Yo, a bullet's balling out. Ah, what the heck? Ah, that's funny. Fair enough, Mr. Ponent. You got us good on that one. Yeah, opponent, opponent's playing out of their mind here. Ash for the the resub. Hi. Hey, hello. Thank, thank you. I'll give you a full game run, Ash. So we'll do it next. We'll do it next game. We're having fun. We're losing a lot, but we're having fun. And by a lot, I mean a lot. But you know, one thing at a time, right? We've got a uh, Poggers Day next turn if needs be. Um, but probably not the best route. Let's just, uh, we'll, 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 uh, Heimer creates first before it draws, right? This is so bad for hand size. Let's not do it. Let's not do it. The thing is, eh, we'll, we'll, we'll risk it. We'll risk it for the biscuit. The risk it is they go for the spell that wipes us, right? It's a Legion Marauders deck. Opponents playing Legion Marauders. Oh boy, our weapon doesn't buff, unfortunately, A Cloud. It's just a stats weapon. Very unfortunately. You're saying just to get the sentry? I do it for the sentry. <laughs> Bottom, bottom, bottom. It feels bad to mess with the Legion Marauders player, but we need to take the dubs we can get. A dub's a dub, no matter how small. Do, 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 do. Now we can Pogger's Day. With Pogger's Day, if he opens, we'll uh, bury the ice if he doesn't. If he develops one more Marauder, that'd be even better. So he does go for an open. We can Pogger stay in response. Blooms once 
Does it now, LeBanc? Does it now? Oh, we'll just Poggers Day. Hopefully we can get our big unit. Two, three, okay. No big unit. That's okay, though. They said it couldn't be done. Rally or cost eight? Um, Poggers Day? I don't know what you're asking, Squalix. Oh, you're saying opponent go for a rally. Yeah, they could. If they go for a rally, we lose, but that's fine, right? But that's fine. The thing is, our T-Hex can block a Legion Marauder even through a rally. Actually, no, because they would shoot T-Hex. A rally isn't losing for us. It's just really sad for us. Progress waits for no one. They basically go a oh, Rune Reckoner. It's just another swing. Yeah, that's fair. It's pretty creative. Um, Herc, uh, Herc, uh, probably. Uh, the problem is I just work, I work during, uh, I work during tournaments on Saturdays usually, so it depends on the format. I, I do want to play tournament play with all y'all, but, uh, well, I mean, we'll see, right? We shall see. Come on, boys. Do, do, do. We get a Marauder for free. If he's going to buff the Marauder, trade for TX. Get the Marauder for free. Okay. Okay. For Cultus here. We'll just bury the Nice in next turn. This is turning into a Heimer win. Oh, we can't. So we get an only Winter's Breath. Oh, well. Well, Anaka. Guys, what if the Anaka summons the winning card? Wouldn't that be cool? Ash, I will give you the run at your, the jogging game, but I'm really glad I decided it wasn't this one because, man, his opponent roping us to death here. You're killing me, man. Oh, we get another cultist. That's huge. Wait, wait. Why? Why is our cultist not hitting elusive? For the king. Is this a visual bug? Oh, it's just a visual bug. It's it is actually elusive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're just chilling. We're vibing out too. We're just waiting for opponent to to vibe and chill out too. They're just healing back up. What are they doing? Why are they running a ramp Marauders deck? That's so weird. Okay, though. We've got our buried and ice here. Buried and ice usually a pretty strong tempo play one way or the other, but in this situation, it's just a big Heimer turret. Big high return at giving us another T hex. Copy, okay. A perfect puppet. Uh, let's just say no to that. Another T hex, very cool. Uh, no, thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't adver advertisement in my stream. Please and thank ya. Do, 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 do. That stairs? Oh, very fair, very fair. Wow. Okay, opponent's balancing board. Our Naka lives though, and that's all we care about. It works. <laughs> Anaka lives. Mm -hmm. I will trade it that stairs for hex. That's an even, even trade. It's like fair enough, right? Fair enough. We'll just count on an Anaka Heimer swing here to do some good damage. <laughs> Guys, if we Anaka pull it, that would be so cool, right? Imagine if we pull our uh, Warden off a Naka. Come on. 
Tama. Give me a warden of Vanaka. It hits! It hits! Yeah! Ooh, ah, ooh, 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 ah, ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ooh, ah, oh, 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 oh. We got it. We got it. Got it, got it, got it. What an amazing move. Whoa, indeed. On this channel, I don't like to ask for sub. Instead, I play a rock, paper, scissors for it. We go rock, paper, scissors, shoot. If I win, you got a sub. Rules the rules. You ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I went for rock. Enjoy the rest of the video. That was pretty cool. Okay, in our in a running game for Ash to finish off the stream here. Let's go. Some of my uh, relatives want to do a 5k. And I'm like, sure, that's fine. We do a 10k on the stream every day. <laughs> Do 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 Uder year e oh no this is gonna be a long match why did I agree to run to this oh my gosh uh, we'll actually full mole because we don't want to keep our big spells into a deny deck uh because someone subbed I run for subs I do a full running game for a sub that's the uh that's the bargain I have with chat. Helps me stay in shape. You best believe I don't play. Do 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 do. Let's cook em. Do 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 do. You get to torture me. Yep. For better or for worse, that's the gambit I've, I'm playing with chat. We've got our warden, so we might even win the running game. Problem is, opponent can just recall it. Flip that around though. It doesn't even matter though if our board's really big. His warden recall, it still buffs the board, then we can buff it again. So it's still worth. Problem opponent's gonna rope us a bunch. And I'm gonna die from too much jogging. <laughs> Dang it. Why why is the opponent roping? Please don't rope, Mr. Opponent. I don't have the stamina for this. I'm just, I'm mean, kind of out of sorts today. Go for looping. We're trying to get a Celestial here. Uh, Moon Silver works. Gets our award and discounted. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it, Ash. Opponent can net value by recalling here. Proud and loud. They choose not to. Okay. Very cool. Again, our warden is coming down on turn eight here. Oh, they're just doing ritual. I mean, sure. I don't care. No, no. Ash, this is good. I'm griping just for your guys' enjoyment. But I, but I really do appreciate that you guys are helping me get in shape. Gather spirits, gather. Uh, Mecha Yordles. We could do the high five head little dipper, but that's a uh, bad into a recall deck, so we'll just go smash. Oh boy, that's a big Udyr. Oh boy. Big Udyr boy. Thing is, when fighting big Udyr chat, it is kind of scary. Oh, I didn't think about that. Because you can just give over, you can just get a life, a uh, regen. Wasn't paying attention, didn't realize he had a free one. Okay, we just need to get a nice wide board set up for our Warden on 8. Okay, opponent's going for Howling Abyss. I got the need for smashing! 
or brawling with that monstrosity. Oh boy. We're running so many elusives though, it's pretty cool. I think we might actually win chat. Our warden's plus five right now. And we have double warden, huge, huge. Okay, that's fair. Shreds our board, we just need to redevelop board. Which is very doable. Hopefully we get the Celestial. Nora. Oh. Celestial, Celestial, please. Perfect. We could block the Nora, but we want the big elusive body, right? Okay, chat. We're in a pretty good spot here. We might be winning. We might get a running dub to finish off stream. Okay, discount the big warden. Big warden comes down. Blamo. Look at that. The amazing board. They have a level Diego. Oh no. Oh no. Please, please, please give us your level Diego, sir. We need to kill a level Diego. Please, mister. The dragon binds us. Ash, what you just see? It for every single uh, random assorted follower you play, Warden. You did we win? Me. We won. Warden gets bigger. Warden gets bigger. We won. We beat him. We got a running dub on Warden! Yes! Woo! Uh, gee. Jeez. That's a great game to end stream on, though. Holy cow. The opponent's running Jinx Lulu again. Gosh dang it. Not this deck. Okay, we've got, um... We've got a really good line out here. Let's go with this. This is really good. And Poro Stories, huge. Poro Stories is really important for our curve chat because it allows us to get a Poro to discard with Bill's Water Rascal. Um, that's fair, Mod. That's fair, but the fact that we got it on stream is incredibly unlikely. We're about to get shredded alive. I know it's not uncommon for it to happen in the game at scale, but the fact that we got to see it is in, is crazy, right? We got another Celestial, very cool. Opponent just gets free value because they're playing a broken deck. But that is okay. You could have taken Naga Force, yeah, that would have been funny. Would have been a bit of a hee hee ha ha moment. However, we've played what? Three archetypes already? We're doing good. Yeah, that, that would have been a super sus, that's for sure. The Elnut cannot be eaten by the Flame Chopper who's a Lulu. It's broken. Good. I'll, I'll have him pass. No tentacle dog, that's true. Okay, chat, we've already got four hit here. Go for Heimer. Oh, Heimer gets eaten by Lulu Jink by Lulu Chompers, unfortunately. Does doesn't this go through though? Am I bugging chat? Did he just sack his jinx or is he gonna shoot my Elnuk? Oh, just a pokey, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Isn't it fun to lose to Jinx Lulu? We traded off our whole board and we're still five damage down. Love it. Disgusting. Our Warden of the Tribes is really big though. So that's pretty cool. We're daring here. 
Prime Spectre and we lose. Great. Woohoo. Bouncing Bolt, we at least go grab his. Uh, oh, we can't even grab his Jinx, his Triumph Spectre. At least we can go grab his Lulu. This Warden of the Tribes is so massive, unfortunately, we will not get to see it played. This is too slow. It's too slow. <laughs> it's such a big Warden of the Tribes. <laughs> Ah, why must we play such bad decks? Why must we submit ourselves to this eternal suffering? Why, why? Just tell me that it's human nature. Why, why must we subject yourself to this? Say why, why? <laughs> Guys, our warden of the tribes is so big. But it's not gonna matter because we're so low. Oh, ho, ho. Crescent Strike's really good, but no, we'll go for a Crescent Strike because Crescent Strike might survive, help us survive. Going for the other one takes Warden one more time, but it doesn't matter if we take Warden if we're dead. So, hello, Bulgari. Hola, como tapas? How you doing? Boom, 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 boom. We might be able to pull this off, chat. I was I was poo-pooing, but uh, opponent's not actually offering much aggro to us. I mean, they are, but like they're not, you know? I guess they're setting up a Jinx. That's not how you set up a Jinx discard hand, though. Guys, we have a Crescent Strike into a Warden here. Providing a job is good. We got double warden chat. Oh. We have to trade off our whole board. Great. Well, we'll go into a. Uh, we're going to go to warden into warden, and hopefully that's enough to make it lethal. Yeah, trade-off is really bad. We can do this, though. We can do this. His chat, the second warden, makes the ma makes him lethal. Unless they get the, the Jinx burn to shut us down. And the thing is, they're playing Mecha Yordle side. They haven't been playing for Jinx rockets. Uh, the healthy blockers isn't the problem. Um, thankfully. But we can, we can definitely do it. Abo uh, Gary, we are playing Warden of the Tribes, and I've been poo pooing that, oh no, we lose for free into the enemy deck. Oh, never mind. Thanks, Rocket. Uh, <laughs> it's not lethal, but if they can figure out how to, how to discard their hand next turn, we die. Yeah, I don't have mana. We're required to play second Warden here, and we just gotta. So now we have lethal. But Pona just needs to discard his hand at burst. And he wins. If Pona can't discard their hand at burst, we do win, chat. That's not at burst. We do win, chat. We just beat Jinx Lulu with Warden of the Tribes. <laughs> <laughs> we actually pulled it off. We actually pulled it off. <laughs> Opponent was running disrespectful lines. Jeez. Jeez. First try. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, in the Liberty merch. That's a great opportunity. Look, guys, I got merch now. I got t-shirts. You got mugs. Go get Liberty merch for that stuff, I guess. I don't know. No, don't get, don't, don't waste your money on my merch unless you have bonus money to spend. 
Our deck is sus. Our deck is sus. Yes, it, yes it is. Our deck is super sus. Brahm Auction. Oh boy. Well, we're definitely keeping a Harsh and a Warden for sure. Harsh, Warden. Oh, a Ram? Probably. Probably. And we've got our fodder stuff. Very cool. In and out. In and out. We'll save the the fodder units for future auction swings. You best believe I don't play. Do, Kindle do. me. That's why I smith. Hello. How you doing, Erkilka? How's it going? What's up, bros? My name is PewDiePie. And we're losing. Snoozing, badoozing. And a Brahm. Oh boy. Poro. Affectionate Poro is nice. Challenger. Have you met my shield? Have you met my shield? Doopy doopy doo. Do 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 celestial. Shoot, we whip the celestial. Um, I'm gonna go for rot. Actually, no, we can just moon silver and get a warden out on a turn earlier. That works for me. That works for me. Order. We got the donger out. With Poro Stories Moon Silver, that's a full board of blockers. Spirits Unleashed? Ding. Uh, I'm doing pretty well. We're playing a Warden of the Tribes deck. Which took us a while to craft, and it's honestly pretty bad. But um, it's still fun, though. Is still fun. We're just trying to survive till turn eight and get down a warden of the tribes. Just gotta survive till turn eight. Get down a warden of the tribes. Yeah, just gotta survive till turn eight. We get down Warden of the Tribes. Just gotta get down to turn eight. Get down to Warden of the Tribes. Get down the Warden of the Tribes. Tribes, Tribes. I mean, we could go for our harsh winds here. But like, honestly, why? Do you feel? Yeah, I know. Let's do this, then we'll go harsh winds like this. Angel the auction for no reason. Feels good. I will tell you. Our hand size is very big. Is yeah, we just gotta survive. We just gotta survive. I uh, will survive. I uh, will survive. Chat, we just have to survive one more turn. That's super doable, right? Super doable. Let's go for cultists here. Super duper. Fixing the world one scoundrel at a time. Soupy dupes. <laughs> oh, bye, Heimer. We'll miss ya. Bye, buddy. 
Or like this. And then we'll go like this. Get some buffing going. And then we've got ourselves a Warden of the Tribes on turn 8. Flower is pretty good. We're just vibing out here, though. We just need him not to get, like, overwhelmed or something, and we are vibing out. That is a big Brom. Oh, boy. Please, opponent, just play one thing. Actually, no. Even if they full board trade, we'll just full redevelop into Warden. There we go. Perfect. Warden of the Tribes. Yes. Opponent disrespected us, and now we have a Warden. What you got now, Ava? Mm, 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 mm. This is actually a. <laughs> I was gonna say it's winnable, but we actually have the win. <laughs> okay, for those of you watching on YouTube, we have not been winning very much with this, so we can we take every dub that we can. Don't play this deck if you want to climb, but it's a ton of fun when it actually gets off. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed those Warden shenanigans. It's not the strongest deck, so I don't recommend it to climb, but it is a lot of fun when you do get the combo off. Leave your deck suggestions in the comments, and I'll see you all tomorrow.